So I last showed you the basics of the patch function, as well as how it compares with submit form when saving data from a form. But how do you still use patch with the form? Um, in this video, I'll be showing you more efficient ways, as well as other ways of extending patch even further. Here are three ways that I'll be extending patch inside this video. The first way is for delivering an experience in your app where you want to separate uh, different questions in your form across multiple screens. The second way that I'll be extending patch is setting its result to a variable. So what record did you write or what record did you update? Uh, and using that across the app. Finally, this is an important one. How do you know if your writing, uh, if your patch was successful or if it had errors? And what do you do in those situations? Let's go to the Power App and see how we can use these. I pulled up the same app as before, and I'll go ahead and start by adding another button where I'll demonstrate another way of patching the form uh, updates to a table. I'll call this Patch2. In the on select property, I'll start by typing patch, the name of my table, quizzes, defaults, quizzes. It's identical to the last patch statement that I have because I'm writing to a new record. After that, I'm going to, instead of uh, using the curly braces, I'll put down the name of my form, form quiz main dot and then I want to get all of the updates from this form save it to a blank record in the quizzes table it's much more efficient than listing out each column value pair but it's still a little bit longer than submit form when would you actually use this well if you have multiple forms and you want to take whatever you type into them uh, and combine them into a single record, that's when you would do this. In this particular app, I don't have just one form. If I click show more, I've hidden a second form here. And then in the back end, uh, where I have my debugging panel, I have a third form where I have just the system fields that I, uh, I pre-slug it with some information. So let's go ahead and get the details from each of those forms. Well, after that first form, if I put a comma, I'll see that the help text says, oh, I could put another update there. And if I put another comma, I'll see, I can update as many things as I want into a single record. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll type the name of my second form, form quiz, more dot updates and I'll do the same thing for that third form form quiz system fields dot updates so I'm taking the updates from three forms shoving them all together into a blank record saving it to the table it's a great way of doing this I want to give a shout out to Vivek Bavishi who showed me this method Okay, for the next way to extend patch, I want to save this result to a variable so I can reference it elsewhere. I can do this two ways. I can use the set function or I can use the update context function. I'll use set because I want it to be referenced all the way throughout the app. I'll say set the last submitted uh, record to the result of this patch. I already have the patch statement. So whatever comes out of this, it'll be saved to this variable. I am going to click patch two, and then I'll insert a label on the screen just so I could quickly show you how to use this now. So I have this variable last submit submitted record. I'll drill into it with a dot and then I could pull up any information from the record that I just saved. I'm going to pull up its ID. And you'll see here that I, I have its GUID uh, that I 
pre-slugged in the um, in the system form. And the third way that I'll be extending the patch function is identifying whether it was successful or not. There are two functions that I'll be uh, demonstrating in this part of the video. First is the errors function, which returns a table of all the errors that may have occurred. And the is empty function. And I'm going to use it for testing. Are there errors or not? I'm going to jump over to OneNote to explain this a little bit more in a diagram. The errors function returns a table. So it might say, okay, in this quiz, uh, in the quizzes table, maybe you didn't have the right privileges. Maybe you were disconnected. Any number of things could have happened. Because it's a table, if it is empty, that means you didn't have any errors, so you succeeded. If it was full, or if it had at least one uh, error, uh, that would indicate failure. We're going to use the errors function and is match to determine were you successful or not. Hopping back to Power Apps, I'll use a semicolon to start a second set of actions. I'll start with the errors function. Between the errors, I put the name of the table that I'm checking. Quizzes. Now I'm going to use the is empty function. It'll return true or false. And in front of that, I'm going to start my if statement. If the table of errors for the quizzes is empty, do these actions. Let me write that out in commenting code. If the table of errors for quizzes is empty, do this. Okay, what do I want it to do? I'm going to use the notify function. Notify. You successfully submitted your quiz details, period. Now, if it is not successful, that will be the, uh, the else value. I'm going to also use notify, but this time I want my message to be there was an error in submitting your quiz details. For this notify, I want it to return a warning. Now I have it set up to notify me for success or an error, depending on what comes out in the table of errors for the quizzes. So that is an important way of, uh, of guiding your user throughout the app so that they know whether to move on or whether to make sure that uh, everything that they have done up to that point has actually been saved. I hope you enjoyed this video about the patch function. It really changes uh, what you're capable of doing when you can save data back to your table. And these new ways of using the patch function will hopefully uh, be very helpful to you as you use patch more and more. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more interesting Power Apps, please subscribe.